guys welcome back and thank you so much for watching so today's video i'm going to do a bit of a wardrobe essentials video have done two of these in the past um and they are always like a really good way to recenter my mind as to the key pieces in my wardrobe. I think the last one I did will be maybe two years ago now and I haven't watched it back. But I would like to think there's going to be lots of similarities running through this one and the last one. So I've pulled together the most key items and then from those I've created six full outfits to show you. All of which involve the key pieces. Um, basically to demonstrate how you can style them all together. Um, but also this wouldn't necessarily be, they're all very me outfits, but I do all, also use all the other pieces of my wardrobe to make these have a bit more pizzazz, shall we say. Um, but these are all like the core essentials that I reach for all the time. That through testing basics, I've decided are my favorites of certain categories that I recommend the most to you guys. Um, and yeah, that I just think I get the most wear out of and really would think that I've got the best version of these pieces or would always repurchase it if something happened to any of them. But I think they're all great quality as well. So we don't need a longer rambling intro. Let's start off. So I start by mentioning just some jewellery. I'm going to do a full jewellery collection video for you guys because you guys ask quite a lot. Um, but the two gold chains I wear every day, which I think are quite essential, just adding something. Um... I sometimes wear a thicker gold chain, but these two have been wearing just on their own for quite some time, especially this one, which is from the Ropes of Holland and Roxanne First Collection. And then this is one by Misoma, which was sent to me for a recent collaboration I did on Instagram. Um, and yeah, I love, I just love how they look over things. I think it's such a great little detail. Same goes for earrings. Um, the, all the gold hoops that I have are from, these are from Sacred Gold. This is also the Ropes of Holland. Roxanne first collaboration and these tiny hoops from or eight and I've been really into excuse this spot really enjoying wearing them um wearing a small gold hoop and never taking it out this one's Maria Tash this one's also sacred gold I think um so I thought I'd start with those and then this brace that I've been loving wearing it's from Monica Monica Veneda um and I've been wearing it nearly every single day and I love how it looks in my watch which is my tag here Carrera men's watch which is pretty sizable as well um, so that's like the core everyday thing. Let's start with this outfit that I'm wearing. Cashmere jumper, crew neck cashmere jumper, such an essential, just as a crew neck t-shirt will be as, which we'll talk about soon. I did testing basics on these and the front runners were Uniqlo and M&S. I've gone on to wear the M&S one more and I think it's washed in in a softer way. So M&S gets my recommendation over Uniqlo for cashmere. This is the navy blue one. I have the black Uniqlo one and I still love it a lot so I wouldn't necessarily need to purchase an M&S black one. I have also have found wearing a navy blue jumper such a good, like, just looks so great with denim. I also think navy blue is super flattering so I've worn this loads and hugely recommend it. The one set down from there is my vintage Chanel bell. Um, the, you, I wear this nearly every single day, like you guys see it all the time. So you'll see that in quite a few outfits, but I just think a black belt with a gold buckle not only can literally physically pull an outfit together with oversized trousers and things, you can just wear jeans and a t-shirt, add a gold belt, and it seems so much more pulled together, especially when you're wearing some gold jewellery as well. Um, and I do recommend investing. I had a Topshop one before this that probably wore... What literally wore to death, like the holes are falling apart in the leather, within maybe 18 months. I've had this for 18 months now, I'd say, um, and it's nowhere near that point. Like This has just got so much more time left in it. I got it on Vestiaire Collective. Um, I'm trying to go through this relatively speedy because there's lots of pieces to talk about. Heeled boot. This is going to be the footwear that I wear with this outfit, and I think these are the favourite ones I've ever had. Um, I also really like my dear Francis spirit boots, but recently I've been more inclined towards a pointed toe boot than a round toe. So these ones I wore more last winter. They're from Dior. They're the most expensive shoe that I've ever bought, actually. They were like £900 or something mental. Um, and I, well, but firstly I got them because I was with mum, who was really not a good influence when it comes to shopping. But the reason I love them is through the height here and how skinny they sit on the foot. Um, I've had them resold once and re-heeled the heel wears down really really quickly the sole i just did because it was a leather sole and i didn't want to go flying and break my neck um i love this tab that just says your door christian dior on the back but i think it's really nice and subtle really easy to walk in can walk in them all night and they look absolutely amazing on the foot as well and i just love this side paneling here i'm going to put them on with this outfit to finish off this look um 
And then for the coat, I thought, I thought because we're not fully in winter, we focus too much on proper coats. But I've been reaching for a trench coat quite a bit whenever it gets a bit miserable. Now, this one's from H&M last season, and I've never been a huge trench coat fan. However, I think this winter is going to be the year it turns me. Um, this, like I said, I think there's going to be no proper winter coats in this just because we are in August. But something of this style, even if it was in wool, I have a Joseph one that's quite like a cashmere blend one, a cream which is a similar, which is a trench style. And this is just a cotton trend, like I said, from H&M last season. But there's something so effortless about it. Maybe it's because I'm getting older, I'm enjoying styling a trench coat a little bit more. Um, Totem have one at the moment, a black one with um, like tortoiseshell buttons down both sides, which I can't stop thinking about, but it's too soon to go coat shopping, but it is firmly on my mind. Um, but this one's great from H&M. It's got two huge splits at the side, which I love. I just think a trench coat is so easy to style. And just, I keep throwing this on for days when it's been pissing it down. We've had weather like that quite a bit. I just feel instantly really pulled together with it and really stylish. Um, and then I've got two bags throughout this video. The first one represents the black crossbody bag for practicality. I've said quite a few times recently that at the moment I'm more into an on the shoulder bag, which I also have both options to show you as essentials. But I will never not use crossbody bags in my wardrobe because when you're out and about, it's just so good to be hands free and be like this. This is a Sophie Hume bulk bag. I also love the Loewe puzzle bag, but I wanted to mention this one because I think it's a great bag for a slightly more affordable price than Loewe. The other one I'm going to show you is Celine, so we're kind of at the top end. Um, so I thought it would be nice to include something that I really, really have loved, but isn't as eye-wateringly expensive as some designer bags are. Um, and yeah, this is like the first easy peasy outfit. Um, obviously you could wear the trench in so many different ways that like every outfit that I'm going to show you in this video you could swap out each item and change it that's why I feel like these are strong essentials Do you know I forgot to talk about the jeans um, everyone needs a pair of light wash jeans that are a boyfriend fit these are vintage Levi 501s which are definitely the holy grail of jeans of this size but they're absolute little fuckers to find a good pair of vintage shops um, the best look I've ever had has been in Amsterdam which is probably not that helpful for most of you uh, but yeah, just some straight legged mid wash jeans like this that are kind of a bit baggy in all the right and wrong places. I think they just look great as they work, balance things out. It's great to have quite a masculine style denim. Um, they're really good to dress up with heels and a sexy top, but day to day with your trainers and your jumpers, they also look great. Um, they last a lifetime. If you find a good pair of Levi 501s, I've never had to repair any. Although I know that Lindsay has. So maybe that, maybe I shouldn't have said that, maybe because if you're buying vintage you don't really know how old it is already. But I've always had really good luck with them and found the quality to be amazing. I'm also going to link the weekday voyage jeans in the description box because I think they're a really good alternative to Levi 501s, vintage ones. Um, if you can't find the right pair of vintage ones, these are a great pair to buy new. Which other ones do I really like? There's a recent pair of Under the Stories ones which I'm going to link as well, which are a great alternative to right next we've got the holy grail of jeans and a t-shirt this t-shirt actually wasn't in testing basics when i did white t-shirts although an arquette one was um i hugely recommend a uniqlo u for for t-shirts any color and i'm going to show you a black one of theirs in a little bit um but i wanted to give this white one from arquette a special mention it's similar in the uniqlo u ones and that it's a really thick cotton but the reason i've loved this one so much is because it doesn't need ironing this is it straight out the washer and the dryer and I haven't ironed it and it looks like this. I just think that's an absolute godsend. It's took me a while to realise that this t-shirt does this once it's straight out of the wash and since then I've been like, I have to tell everybody about this. This is the best thing ever. So it's a slightly heavier, heavier weight t-shirt. It's more expensive than the Arquette one that I did do in Testing Basics. Um, but I've just been loving it and it's just got that thick structure I always, always, always talk about. Um, the jeans I've got on here are the weekday Seattle jeans, so they're a darker wash and I think they're a really, really amazing fitting jean that's so flattering as well. They fit really great over the bum, better than things like Levi 501s like I just mentioned. I think these offer a different styling opportunity because they're slightly more fitted through the leg. 
they're still a straight leg but definitely on the skinnier side and with them being in an indigo wash which in itself I think is an essential it's really easy to style up for the evening so I've worn these lots for evenings out with that nice shirts or nice just dressier black tops and some heels um, and I just always feel like really nice in them I think they're really figure flattering I feel super confident in them and um, the length of them is great on me as well and they've been washing really well Initially I thought they were kneeing a little bit, but after a wash they, it's completely bounced back in its shape, so they've been absolutely brilliant. Um, yeah, I hugely, hugely recommend them. Footwear, another boot we've got here. These are my church's Chelsea boots. Um, I think I've had these for maybe two and a bit years now, three years. Um, I've never had to resole them, although maybe this winter I will. As you can see, it's still got the original churches thing on the bottom sorry showing you the bottom of a shoe but just to make a point and um, the point being that these are i think some of the best quality flat boots i've ever had they just they kind of a little bit creased at the top but i really don't think they look like they've been worn half as much as they have been the quality of them is unbelievable they are so comfortable i can walk in these all day and like this is the first time i've put them on my feet in months it's been summer obviously but they just don't need breaking back in at all um my church's brogues which we're going to see later do they're absolute bastards to break back in ah these oh putting them on now makes me so excited to wear them love them so much they're brilliant and then the jacket for this i'm going to go with a blazer a black blazer and the one that i have absolutely loved is this one from arquette um, it kind of represents a style of black blazer for me that I'm just going to tilt you down a tiny bit that is oversized but not so oversized that it feels more like a trend piece it still feels really classic I have got my normal size I was going to say I thought I sized up but I didn't um, the cut on it's beautiful love the lapels it's got a single button here I just think I always feel lovely when I put this on and like I said it's got an oversized fit to it so it doesn't feel like a really traditional corporate style blazer but isn't so big and massive that it feels more like a trend piece i absolutely love that style of blazer as well i can think they look at, are just brilliant on people um but i then don't feel as much of an essential i do have an oversized wool blazer i'm going to talk about in a little bit but this was just something that i think i actually would prioritize over something like that because it's much easier to dress up and dress down and i think it will have more longevity in a wardrobe but yeah, like I said, I'm going to show you an oversized one in a very similar outfit with some slight differences and to demonstrate how I think they both do have a place in a wardrobe. But if you were picking one, I would prioritise a fit like this, personally. Um, but the other one does just add a bit more pizzazz. Can you stop using that word? Uh, and then for the bag of this, this is going to be the Celine Hobo bag, which represents a style of bag of being able to wear something on your shoulder like this. It's opposed to crossbody. The Sophie Hume bag can be worn like this as well, but I've been quite liking having it. This big size bag in a lighter colour as well. Uh, similar as well to my Bottega bag, which is my new one, but I thought I shouldn't include something quite so new in this video. Um, but I just think it breaks the outfit up quite nicely, having something that's a lighter colour, maybe a tan or a cream, and on one shoulder just... I can't, having this bag, getting this bag and being able to wear it like this gave me such a new release of life, just so many of my pieces in my wardrobe, I can't quite explain why, but just something about it being worn down this side, I think it looked really, really lovely, so big thumbs up to this one. Okay, so this is going to be a similar ilk to the other outfit I just showed you, excuse my hair getting messier as I'm getting changed. Um, but just with some small differences and to sort of demonstrate how like i was saying about the blazers basically this is the uniqlo u t-shirt this is a men's in the small had this for about 18 months so it's been a lot washed a lot more than the arquette one similarly this is straight out the washer dryer and really no creases the white version of this shows up creases a little bit more definitely more than the arquette white one does but this is just the best t-shirt like i have washed this so many times worn it so many times i think the cut of it is the, just the best. I love this so 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 much. Uniqlo U is just a section of Uniqlo um, and you can always find it in store if it's sold out online and they do this in loads of colours. I've sticked with the weekday Seattle jeans and then added back on the Chanel belt again and then I'm going to put on a huge blazer this time. Now with this being a wool blazer 
I think it really holds a bigger shape really well because it's got quite a lot of structure in it and it, it airs more on the side of even being a coat, a very lightweight coat. This is from the Frankie shop, so it's vintage. However, I would recommend looking at, I think week, I've got a great one like this from Weekday in the past. The Frankie shop are now set, stocked on Netta Porter, so if there's anything similar on there at the moment, I'll link it in the description box. And other stories can be great for wool blazers like this as well. Jigsaws do some really fab wool blazers too. Um, it's just, with it being wool as opposed to like a polyester viscous mix like the other one, like I said, it feels more like a coat and I just think it really holds this huge shape so well. This is a relatively new piece in my wardrobe, as in I got it this year in April, um, so I kind of got it coming out of winter. I can't wait to wear this more in the winter. I think it looks great with t-shirts like this for now, but imagine it with like an amazing cashmere roll neck or just like a fisherman's neck, fisherman's knit jumper. This is the second time in two videos I've referenced fisherman's knit. So maybe that's something I need to, to see if I could, if I've got space for my wardrobe and um, can find a nice one online as well. Um, but yeah, this, I just love it. And the gray of it is amazing. And obviously this is very similar styling to the last outfit I just showed you, but I think, I hope you will agree, has the different components and it makes it feel really different, but it still is easy to wear. And then with this, I'm gonna put on my church's brogues. Now, I have to say, these are a nightmare to break in. And then I didn't wear them for quite a while and started wearing them again recently. And they were just like back to square one with how much they were hurting my feet. Somebody left uh, me a message on Instagram saying that COS do some great ones that are really easy to break in. And once they're broken in, are great. I don't have those, so I can't vouch for that. But it's a recommendation worth sharing because I love these so much. I just love the shape of them. I think they're really flattering on the foot. To say it's quite a masculine shoe, it doesn't sit too heavy on the foot. Love the fact they're patent leather. The quality of them is beautiful as with the boots. They're just an absolute bugger to break in. Um, so I don't know. I don't think I will buy another pair from COS just because once, just because, <laughs> once I've worn these a bit, they soften back in again. So I just need to suffer a little bit and then I'll be good to go with them. Um, but I thought I was worth I thought I would mention it because they've not they haven't been the perfect pair of brogues if I'm honest but I still really love them and I'm still persevering with them because I love how they look um and yeah I, I ended up since I got these just being pretty obsessed with brogues and thinking they're an absolute key styling piece um and I wear them all the time with without socks so through not through summer but through spring autumn and winter um, and they're amazing, I really think they're essential. And then with this, I'll probably add on the crossbody bag again, but either of the bags would work with this. Hey guys, back in some cashmere, this time a longer oversized knit. Uh, this one is from Ray, and I love this jumper so much. Um, I've washed it a fair few times, it has had to be debobbled. I just used a debobbler from Lakeland. Um, and it's just looking great, like after it debobbled, it, was like a new jumper all over again. So it's the softest cashmere jumper ever. I love the fit of it. I love the fact it's long and oversized, but also quite slim fitting, so it isn't completely drowning. So you can also really easily wear it under things. It's really practical in the winter for that reason. Um, just obsessed with it. Would love to get it in a different color for this winter because of how much I've worn it and the quality has really stood the test of time and the test of lots of washes. It's also so comfortable. I wear it for like running errands on flights, all sorts. And then I think it looks great as well to wear for going out and about in the real world as well. Um, and then on my bottom half, I have these black, these washed black jeans from Toe 10. I love these, I've worn them so much. These are kind of like my evening go-to jeans, but I also wear them a hell of a lot in the daytime. Again, the perfect length on me. They're really nice and high-waisted, really flattering over the bum and everything. Um, they're really leg lengthening, they're quite tight through the thigh, and then sit ever so slightly off the calf. Um, and I can't recommend them enough. I, they wash really well everything, I think they're great. And I really want to look at getting these in a, um, like a, a normal blue denim because I've just worn them so, so much and really love them. I fit them so flattering. And then with this, I'm gonna add my Celine loafers. Still the best shoes I think I've ever, ever, ever bought. They're on their second resoling now um, and they're holding up pretty well. I have worn these through twice, literally to where there's nearly a hole in the bottom. 
um, and they're the comfiest shoes. They look great. I've never found a loafer I love as much as this. I don't think I ever will. Um, they're honestly just the best. I'm going out for dinner tonight and I think I might literally just go out wearing this because whenever I throw an outfit like this, it just feels so good. So effortless, so like me, but so chic. And just so stylish, like I love it. And the things like the gold jewellery and the necklaces just add the perfect amount of detailing. And then for this, I would take the Celine bag just to break up the collars a little bit. In reality, I'd probably actually take my Bottega bag because they match my Celine loafers really well. But for, for the sake of this video, this would work perfectly too. Okay, back in that white Arquette t-shirt, this time with some tailored trousers. I'm yet to find the perfect pair of black tailored trousers. These are navy blue, so they're coming in extremely close and ticking all the boxes. These are my wool twisted seam trousers from Ray. The fact that wool's the only downside because they're impossible to wear in the summer because they get so hot, whereas like a pair of just, you know, non-wool black uh, tailored trousers I would be able to wear in the summer a little bit more. Um, but they're great, they're the perfect length, the fit is great, and that's what's impossible, or what I have never nailed perfectly with some black tailored trousers, and I'm forever on the hunt for them, and I'm actually thinking I might start looking at getting a pair of men's ones, so they're a good length for me, and having them tailored in at the waist. We shall see, it's a journey, we're all on it together, but these are a, such a great trouser for day and evening. I wear them a lot in the daytime with t-shirts like this, and then for this one, I'm going to add on some white trainers. These are the Vega, Veja, Veja. We've been through this before and I've forgotten what the answer was and how to pronounce these. Uh, but just the white canvas lace of trainers. Um, quite specifically canvas ones for me. I don't really wear any of the leather trainers that I have that often anymore. But I love all my canvas ones. I also love wearing them with white socks. For this outfit, I'm not going to put any white socks on, but... Um, I just love looks like this for something that is in between being tailored. It still feels like the classic Scandi minimalist style. Um, but yeah, the fit of these trousers is perfect and I love them. Um, and I'm always keeping an eye out on with Ray, who, which is a brand I love generally, to find a great pair of black ones as well that aren't wool. But we're, the punt is still on. Um, but yeah, I think white canvas trainers are obviously great with so many things they're great in the summer with bare legs with skirts denim shorts denim skirts whatever uh great with jeans everything and it's just about finding the perfect comfort pair for you i really recommend vega vega uh, novesta as well and um, vans the slip on vans are great converse low i did a testing basics on it superga are my all-time ultimate recommendation i have an off-white pair which i've worn to the point if they could literally walk out the room on their own they're that disgusting um so i didn't want to show those once again in this video but they super good do some great ones okay lastly guys the perfect linen shirt with perfect mini skirt this black silk mini has been around the world with me so many times been on so many a night out it's, there's nowhere this skirt hasn't been. It's from Reformation and it's just the best black mini skirt I've ever found. They always do great minis, so I'll link a few other options. I've had it for about three years now, so the specific one will not be available. But it is just the best. It is the best night out thing. I wear it in the summer when I'm on holiday with a t-shirt and my flip-flops or slides. I wrote to go on a night out with heels in the winter with like knee-high boots or thigh-high boots and a blazer. It is literally the ultimate evening or just summer piece. For this one, I wanted to start it with another absolute essential, which is a white shirt. This is a linen one from um, Uniqlo, which is in Testing Basics. My favourite non-linen one is one from And Other Stories, but I'm super into linen and I'm going to keep wearing my linen shirt through into the winter and styling them with knitwear like I have done here to get a mix of textures. So I've got the Ray knit over my shoulder, which is a look I've been really into recently. This is a great one to do it with because the sleeves are quite thick, so you kind of get enough of oomph around it or if you tie it up. You also have enough oomph with it um, and it's just kind of like a Princess Diana I'm off to see my grandma or I am my own grandma who knows kind of a vibe um, and I'm super into it and I just think it's really effortless also really practical because I could slip this on if I wanted to I was then going to make this outfit a bit sexy eveningy which I'm probably going to have to slip the jumper on to achieve um, and put in my favorite strappy heels 
these are from Jimmy Choo and I have worn these in every wed well two weddings that I've been to this summer every night out through the summer you can see the heels gotten a little bit a little bit gnarled there uh, but they are so comfortable they're so easy to walk in love the strappiness of them they've got really long straps at the legs I normally just bunch the straps up by my ankles but you could tie them all the way up if you wanted to um, and they're just amazing they're, they're really 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 great heels some of the best heels I've ever had for looking great and feeling great and even when I just wear them with like jeans and a t-shirt and a blazer or even without the blazer like these with the vintage Levi's we looked at the white Arquette t-shirt the vintage Levi's and this shirt the rave trousers with everything they just look brilliant um and yeah they are some of the best heels I think I've ever 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 had so these had to get a mention and um, I'm going to try them on wearing the jumper like this but I really think the jumper is going to have to go on with the with the collar and the cuffs hanging out and it's still going to be a bit of a schoolgirl kind of a look but with sexy shoes give it a very different vibe I would also wear this with trainers or with the church's brogues for sure but yes that is the final outfit for this video everything that's still available will be linked in the description box if not similar items will be where I can find them I'm also going to link some of the pieces that I discussed like the totem trench coat if I can find a great fisherman's knit online of things that I might want to buy because I want these my shopping to become more conversational like I've said and identifying the holes in my wardrobe and together sharing the decision making with you of how I go about finding new things and being more informed of my shopping as well um yeah I hope you've enjoyed it I really enjoyed filming this actually and I feel freshly inspired with what's already in my wardrobe too so <sighs> thank you so much for watching I recommend you all go and look at your own wardrobe essentials um because like I said it's definitely made me feel quite re-inspired by what was already in here um and I will see you in the next video which will I think be a vlog or maybe my jewellery collection which I'm hoping to film for you guys really soon as well anyway see you in the next one